All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the fourth part of the show, we're going to talk about Dan Campbell, uh, some recent comments that he had regarding the NFC Championship game, and just kind of like, you know, what he's expecting out of the Lions uh, for this upcoming season. Some interesting comments, though, because he did reference Ron Burgundy. So these are these are the things he had to say. So those are the little things where we – this is what uh, Dan Campbell said. Those are the little things where we can really grow offensively and defensively, like the awareness of who's in, what's the situation. We know what it says on paper, but we can't do the Ron Burgundy. We can't just continue to read off the teleprompter, and that's the next step. This is the next evolution because that's what San Francisco did to us, quite frankly. They played at a different level. And what else did he have to say? I think just remember what we are playing for, each individual. What do you want? Like, what do you want out of this year? What do you want it to look like when we're sitting here and it's February? Where is your mind? And so think about that and let's work backwards from there. That'll be the message. And he said, you know what I want? He said, I want the whole enchilada. So that means I, I the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, kind of funny. He talks about enchiladas and uh, Ron Burgundy. But the one thing I'll say is San Francisco played at a different level to come back. I mean, if you really go back and you watch the game, the 49ers also just like, they, they there was some luck involved, but also... They took advantage of some mistakes made by the Lions. Because I actually, I think I did, I did watch the highlights recently from that game. And I forgot, I think it was, so it was after Brandon Ayuk had that catch that was deflected up in the air and he caught it. And they scored a touchdown. Because I think right after that, I forgot about this, Jameer Gibbs fumbled. And the 49ers got the ball back. I forgot about that. And then you had the, you know, the lines, they went for it on fourth down and there were some drops. And yeah, it, it just, things unraveled. So I don't know if it's more so that the 49ers played at a, at a higher level. I think it's, they just cashed in on, like I said, luck and mistakes by the Lions. But that's what good teams do is they'll take advantage of mistakes. So, but, yeah, I, I mean, listen, I, I think the Lions, they're going to be, once again, a very good team. And I talked about them earlier in the show, how I think, you know, between them, the Packers, the Eagles, I think those are the teams that have the best chances to knock off the 49ers in the NFC. And I even said, I think the Lions will upset the 49ers late in the season when they play against them. And that could very well decide who gets home field advantage between those two teams. And I thought the and I thought the Lions played a great game. Well, I shouldn't say great, a, a great game because they didn't finish them off. But early on in the in the NFC Championship game, they were running the football. I mean, they were they were carving up that 49ers defense. And they were up by a lot. They were up by 17. They should have been playing in the Super Bowl, but they 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 couldn't finish off the Niners. But I don't know if it's because of the 49ers were playing at a different level. I think it's just they cashed in on mistakes. And that the Brandon IU catch, that changed the whole complexion of that game. Because everything just went wrong for the Lions and everything went right for the Niners. And Dan Campbell might have been overly aggressive. Maybe you should have taken the points and kicked the field goal when you went for it on fourth down. But, I mean, if it pays off and he gets the first down, if they, you know, because jo Josh Reynolds, I think, he, he was the one that had the, the drops. You know, he makes those catches. Dan Campbell looks like a genius. And then we're having, we're probably having a different conversation. But that's not the case. And I, I know I, I think I said this you know, around that loss. But you don't want Dan Campbell to get to that point. I did make the comparison to Brandon Staley because Brandon Staley, early on in his coaching career with the Chargers, he was constantly going for it on fourth down. And when 
I remember when they they won against the Chiefs his first season, that uh, the second or third week of the regular season, and they were going forward on fourth and seven, and and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. Loved it. I love this. But then it just then it just got to that point where I was like, okay, you, you got to take the points. I don't want that now. Brandon Staley, him and the Chargers, the furthest they got was the first round of the playoffs. And they lost. They had a 27 to nothing lead and they blew it. Dan Campbell, he brought his team all the way to the NFC Championship game and they were on the doorsteps of a Super Bowl appearance. Brandon Staley never got close. That close. And Dan Campbell... Now, you know, Brandon Staley, yeah, they, they, the Chargers made the playoffs, but... You know, they missed the playoffs the previous season and then the season un unraveled last year because of a bunch of stuff, including a lot of injuries, too. But, no, but Brandon Staley, he, he had to go. Dan Campbell, you look at what he's done with the Lions. I mean, there was it, it was a possibility that he was going to lose his job. Not last year, but the year before that. When they got off to a, that 1-6 and six start, whatever it was, they turned it around, and they ended up finishing 9-8 and eight and... I've said this. They sent Aaron Rodgers pack into New York. And that carried over into last year. And the Lions were one of the best teams. And like I said, they were on the doorstep of making it to the Super Bowl. And should have gotten to it. But that was not the case. And they have they have expectations for themselves. And Dan Campbell said it. In a unique way, he said, I want the whole enchilada. They want to get to the dance. Well, the dance is, I guess the dance is the playoffs. But yeah, they, they, they want to get past that. They want to get to, I guess you could say, the last dance, which is the Super Bowl. And they want to be the last team standing. And they have a great opportunity to do that. One thing I'll mention is Jameer Gibbs is dealing with a little bit of an injury, but it shouldn't be something that we take too seriously and again it's only june but i know i that, that was one thing i wanted to throw in because I, I know that that uh, was being reported um but yeah they got a great opportunity they got a great team they got a they got a solid quarterback they got you know one of the best receivers in the nfl one of the more underrated receivers in the nfl i might add is amon ross st brown you got a great one-two punch with David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. You got a solid tight end going into his second se season in San Laporta. You know, and you got a rising star on defense in Aiden Hutchinson. Now, the defense is a little bit of an issue, which we'll see how they are this year. But this is a good team. And it's between them and the Packers, in my opinion, for the division. So... Um, but, yeah, I mean, I expect them to be very good once again. And I think they're going to be competing, you know, with the Eagles and the 49ers for the one seed. That could be the, That's going to be the order of one through three, in my opinion. Because I, I, I think the Lions will win the division, but and the, the Packers, they'll be a wild card. But, yeah, and, and I think I said this recently. The, the South team is going to be the fourth seed. I know I'm saying this and it's only June 7th, but that's just my early opinion. And you know what? Here's the thing. With my predictions, whatever I say, maybe do the opposite. Well, I, I'm. It, it'll be funny when we get to the season and I start talking about how bad I'm doing in my spread pool. I'm looking forward to that, but we got some time before that. Me, me complaining about that and complaining about my fantasy teams. So... Yeah, that'll be fun. But, you know, I didn't even do that bad in my spread pool. It's just I didn't really, you know, it's not, it's not like I, I won anything. So, but I'm hoping the Lions have another good year because I am a Dan Campbell fan. You know, ever since, you know, the whole thing with, you know, biting off people's kneecaps. I mean, that it's just I, I thought it was funny, and I, as many other people did. And the fact that. From that press conference to where we are now, what he's been able to do and how they've just been able to change the culture and, you know, give Lions fans something to be happy about. You know, you also got to give credit to Jared Goff as well. I mean, I'm 
I, I love the I, I love where the lines are at right now. You know, it, it's it's nice to see that they are a you know legit contender right now. A Super Bowl contender. You know, because of where they were at, I mean they were one of the teams that have gone own sixteen. And it was possible they were going to do that Dan Campbell's first season as as, as uh, head coach, but that didn't happen. I mean, look at where they are now. They're a very good team, and they're looking to go even further than they did last year, which is to get to the the whole enchilada, and that's the that's winning a Super Bowl championship. So, so that's my thoughts on that. Let me know what you guys think. How do you see the Lions doing? Do you see the Lions getting to the Super Bowl this year? Let me know in the comments. So. We're going to take our final break of the show, and then when we come back, we'll talk about another head coach that's trying to end a drought, and that is Mike McDaniel and the Miami Dolphins. We'll talk about them when we come back from our final break of the show. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 